Hey, first grade. I can't wait to talk with you today about butterfly observation day five. In your YouTube workbook, you should turn to the section that says week of June 8th. Once you get to that section, which is purple, you can turn to page eight, where it says six slash eight for June 8th. That's where we're going to be working today. If you need to take a minute to pause and go get your YouTube workbook and your pen or pencil, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, let's get started. First, we're going to pick it up reading where we left last time. This is about the class, Who is Growing Butterflies from Caterpillars? It says, our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through the long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar, and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. And the text here says, pointed lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. Now we're going to do a quick observation of the butterfly. This one we don't have to draw for, we can just watch. While we watch the butterfly, I want you to think, last time we saw the butterfly drying its wings. What do you notice has changed about our butterflies? What do you see happening? Let's watch. As you're watching, you can also think about what is the function of the butterfly's wings? What do the wings help the butterfly do? Now, our butterflies weren't quite ready to leave our net in time for filming this YouTube video for science in first grade. So I will release the butterflies on a super warm day that's safe for them, probably later this week. But so that we can watch someone else release their butterflies from the same net, we have this woman who's a teacher releasing her butterflies. So these might not be our butterflies, but we can use this video to imagine what, a, what it will look like when I release our first grade butterflies later this week when the weather is a little better. So while those may not have been our butterflies getting released, that's probably a lot what it's going to look like. I noticed some of the butterflies flying onto nearby flowers. What do you think they're doing on those flowers? I agree, they're probably drinking nectar. 
Now it's time for our observation. You should be on page 8 in your YouTube workbook. This is a picture of a painted lady butterfly on a flower in nature. It's not inside a net like our butterflies. It's been released and lives out in the wild. So that's what we're going to draw today. A painted lady butterfly living in nature. First, I'm going to draw the painted lady butterfly's body. I notice this long, skinny section, its head, and its eyes and antenna. We know the antenna helps the butterfly sense danger. Now I know the wings have two sections. So I'm going to draw those two sections on each side. And we remember that a butterfly is symmetrical, so the wings should look the same on both sides. Now I'm going to lightly sketch in the flower, the petals, the center. I see this flower in the background, so I'll sketch this in because I'm really excited to color that in later with those pretty pinks and yellows. And now for the symmetrical details on the wings. I noticed these three lines here. They're like little arches that separate a big black section from an orange section. So I'll color those in. I notice a lot of spots on this side and this side, so I'll add those as well. I notice there's this edge detail on both wings. Here there's a big orange spot as well as over here. I'll make sure to add that in. Another orange spot here, same on this side because butterflies are symmetrical. Now for the hind wings, that's these lower wings. I see spots around the edges, this kind of tan section on each side in the middle. Then there starts to be some black and orange, so I'll add that. And more black spots, I see four on this side and four on this side. I'm going to add this section of the butterfly's body. And then down here there seems to be lines along the butterfly's body. Now that I've drawn, it's time to label. I can color when the video is over and add in these gorgeous oranges and blacks, tans, golds, and browns, and of course the pink in the flower. Now let's label what we see. Of course I can label the wings. And we can definitely label the antenna. If we don't know how to spell antenna, I can always copy it from the word bank. And then I'll check the words off when I'm done, so I know which ones I've used. There's the butterfly's head, up at the top. And of course, also the butterfly's eyes. Make sure to finish labeling your drawing, and if you need another minute, hit pause. Butterflies. Now we're going to listen to some fun facts about butterflies. Butterflies are insects that can be we're found going on to every write. continent except While Antarctica. While you're listening to this short video Scientists about butterflies, think there could be as many as 20,000 species of butterflies. What is the function of, of a butterfly's wings? Butterflies are wings unique the animals because do? they aren't born looking like their adult forms. At first, they're just caterpillars. Once they've grown as much as they can, caterpillars attach themselves to a twig or leaf before shedding their outside layer of skin. This reveals a hard skin underneath known as a chrysalis, or cocoon. While it's wrapped up, the caterpillar begins to change. Eventually, it becomes an adult butterfly, emerges from its chrysalis, and flies away. Butterflies have four wings that are actually made up of tiny scales covered in all kinds of colorful geometric patterns. They flap those pretty wings about five times every second. 
Butterflies can see the colors red, green, and yellow, which helps them to find the best flowers. But did you know they can also see some colors that we humans can't see? Most butterflies eat nectar from flowers, and they taste that food with their feet. Just like bees, butterflies are important because they help pollinate different plants, flowers, and vegetables. Butterflies are awesome! What's your favorite thing about butterflies? Now it's time to write our words. So, in your YouTube workbook, it says, Describe the function of the butterfly's wings. Remember, function means job. So what's the job of the butterfly's wings? We know we can start our words with the function of the butterfly's wing is to what? What do the wings help them do? I've also started my words in my YouTube workbook. The function of the butterfly's wing is to. So get that sentence starter down. Make sure to start with an uppercase letter. Copy the words you need to from the question so you spell them correctly. And then fill in. What is the function of the butterfly's wings? What do the wings help the butterfly do? You might be thinking, of course it's fly, but what does the flying help the butterfly do? Fly from what? Fly to where? Fill in your answer and make sure to show your teachers this week at your conferences. When the video is done, if you can, Try to use crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have to add color to your beautiful illustration and send a picture to your teacher so we can see them. It's been so fun growing butterflies with you, first grade during science. I'll see you next time.